So now I was preparing for an upcoming video and I made the 555 timer in a stable mode. It takes about two seconds for the LED to first turn on and then turn off and then about two seconds later after that process started it turns back on again. So about every two seconds the LED turns on and uh, those are just kind of estimates. But in any case you notice I have the uh, bench power supply set to uh, 7 volts and the LED doesn't turn on instantly it is supposed to and so I have the uh, oscilloscope here first we can take a look at the voltage of the uh, power supply and take a little while for this uh, to turn on but I have this set for each square to equal 2 volts right there and we can slow this down uh, to make it look better. So there you can see we have a 2, 4, 6 and then 7 volts up there about the halfway point and there's a lot of like jagged lines too. So let's go to the output here and now you can see that we don't go all the way to the rail voltage it looks like 2, 4, 6 so a little less than 6 volts we probably lost one and a little bit of volts or so but uh, the main thing you can see kind of it's kind of jagged right there where it turns off and we will go back uh, I didn't mean to trigger there we go we'll go back to one-tenth of a second works pretty good and when it goes up I'll pause it so that's one-tenth of a second per square each one of these squares so you can see for more than about a hundred milliseconds right there it should be turning on right there but it's not you can see that the LED is kind of glowing a little bit so there were some props and first I switched the 555 timers because I don't think I had that problem before but normally I use a 5 volt power supply that goes on to the breadboard when I power this so I came up with an idea to uh, take a capacitor this is a 470 microfarad capacitor and doesn't matter which side I put it on but I plugged it into the uh, rail so we got the uh, long lead right there the positive short lead I'm gonna put to the negative row right there and now when we look at the LED this is a little more voltage than I want to use but you can see that the LED it's not uh, kind of flickering to begin with so I'm gonna hit the OK button again to get the scrolling again now we can see the uh, waveform and uh, I'll pause it so we can get a little better look there you can see it's going instantly from zero volts to a little less than six volts our final voltage so I think my bench power supply it uh, can't deliver a rapid change in current as much as is needed for this circuit so let's uh, let's get it back on and then earlier too we saw when we measured the the uh, supply voltage directly we had it wasn't uh, a straight line we had some noise let's uh, slow this down so that the line doesn't keep kicking in it looks like it's not there's probably less little spikes on there but so I don't think it's uh, as smooth as we'd like but uh, it's okay for the uh, 555 timer so in any case I found a real life example really easy one to notice where we need a smoothing capacitor and a lot of times when I see 555 timer circuits I actually see it's probably a uh, hundred microfarad or something but I actually see them add the capacitor across the power supply in the schematic so here's a case where that is actually needed so probably don't need this much capacitance could probably go lower we could uh, keep lowering it to see how much exactly we need but uh, in any case this was a nice uh, example again as I said normally I use a 5 volt breadboard supply we might as well just plug that in right now and there's some wires stuff in the way but uh, there we go it's pretty much ready let's unplug these power supplies and uh, see how the uh, 5 volt does 
the uh, actual breadboard supply does because it has a smoothing capacitor already on there and I think it has other smoothing properties but there we have 5 volts and the voltage doesn't determine the time it's the capacitor here and the two timing resistors but we'll uh, zoom in and you can see that uh, let's try to get it back to the uh, tenth of a second and we'll make sure we catch it on the up but yeah there you can see going from zero directly to a little less than four here so again we're losing a little more than a volt from the uh, positive rail so that's another thing to be aware of with uh, the 555 timer so hopefully you found this interesting I did a little troubleshooting it's uh, pretty clear that normally when I've powered these I've used the breadboard power supply and uh, they're more common than bench power supplies so I try to use them more but of course my only options are 5 volts 3.3 volts or we could center this where it just doesn't power the rail uh, at all and uh, so my voltage options are limited I need to use something for higher voltage the bench power supply is the easiest but as we just saw here uh, some integrated circuits may not like that when their current needs change rapidly so hopefully you found that all interesting thanks for watching I will see you in the next video